This is an absolutely classic Middle Eastern recipe. I'm going to make little orange cakes with a spiced orange blossom syrup finished with pistachios and rose petals. So to start off with, I've got two oranges that I've boiled whole. Just in water, in the pan, three hours, then drain them and cool them. Now these are beautiful navel oranges and they don't have any seeds, so I can just pop them in like this. I love a cake that you can make in a food process, especially one as fabulous as this one. So the oranges are in, four eggs, <laughs> olive oil. Olive oil is such a Middle Eastern ingredient. We're so lucky that we grow it here now. And you know, I don't mind a medium strength olive oil in this, extra virgin always and Australian. And then we've got some vanilla. You know, that olive oil gives a beautiful richness and moisture to the cake some sugar, and now we can just blitz it. It really doesn't take very long. And so now I've got some almond meal. Great thing about almond meal is it's replacing flour, so this is gluten-free. So another bonus. There we go. You don't need to blitz it this time. This time we just want it to combine gently. And that's it. What a beautifully simple cake to make. Okay, my oven's 160 degrees and they're going in for 45 minutes which gives me plenty of time to make my orange syrup. So in here is the orange juice. I've got some sugar, because of course we want it to be a syrup. And then I've got some cardamom and ground cloves. So there's your real flavour of the Middle East. Middle Eastern food is all about spices, but in quite unusual combinations. So I just want this to come to the boil and it can simmer for two minutes. That is so aromatic. The heat's really bringing out the fragrance of those spices. Look, I'm popping it into a big bowl now because I want this to cool quite quickly because one of the key things when you're adding something like lemon juice and orange blossom water, also known as orange flower water, you're going to lose that fragrance if you cook it. So I'll swirl this around a little bit, lose some of that heat. In these two go, lemon juice, Love that little bit of acidity to cut through the richness and that, oh, I can smell it already, the orange blossom water. Now that needs to cool completely and then I can get my cakes out. Now my syrup is cold and my cakes are hot and that's what you want. Alternatively, I could have hot syrup and cold cakes because you want the cake to really absorb that syrup. So I'm gonna save a little bit for the icing. There we go. You just want it to soak in a little bit. I've got a tablespoonful or so, that's a bit less, there we are, left for my icing. I'm gonna need just a little bit of water to get it to come together, because I want to drizzle this over the cakes. I did sift my icing sugar first. Okay, so now I'm just going to drizzle over the cake. Very pretty. So I've got some chopped pistachios. We'll just put a little pile in the middle of each. You could use any sort of nuts you like, but I love the green of the pistachios against the colour of this cake. And now the finishing touch, some of these beautiful little, uh, little rose petals. Mm. 
When you go to Morocco to the spice shops, they have these massive bags of spices, all different colours, and they also have the nuts and the rose petals. It's just the most extraordinary sight. I hope I've brought a little bit of the Middle East to you with my little orange cakes, with a spiced orange blossom syrup finished with pistachios and rose petals.